Okay, hello. This time we're going to discuss about quotient law of exponents. It says here that if the quotient of the basis is powered by the same exponent, then the result is both the numerator and denominator, each powered by the given exponent. We have here x over y raised to n. Okay? Try to observe. The operation between x and y is division. But they do not have the same base. The other is x and the other is y. So we cannot subtract their exponent. What is the exponent of x here? It is 1. And the exponent of y, it is 1. And it is being raised by another exponent, which is n. So what are you just going to do? It says there, it's powered by the given exponent. So meaning, you're just going to subtract 1 times n. So you now have x raised to n over y, 1 times n, that is n. Okay? Whatever will be the exponent here, that is the exponent of x and y. But we cannot subtract them. The operation here is division, but we cannot subtract the exponent of x and that of the exponent of y because they don't have the same base. To further understand this, we need to have example here. Okay? 4 over 7 raised to 2. What is the exponent of 4? It is 1. The exponent of 7, it is 1. So you just follow the same procedure here. So you have 1 times 2, that is 2, then 1 times 2, that is 2. So the exponent of 4 is 2, the exponent of 7 is 2. Then, that is not yet our final answer. We're going to simplify it. Again, as what I have told you, you cannot subtract the exponent of 4 and the exponent of 7 because they don't have the same base. So you just simplify it. So we have the equivalent of 4 raised to 2, that is 16. And 7 raised to 2, that is equal to 49. So the final answer there is 16 over 49. Can you follow? The next one we have here. That law is otherwise known as raising quotient to a power. Why? This is a quotient. 2x raised to 6 divided by y raised to 4. And it is being raised to another power. Okay? So how are we going to simplify it? Let us try to identify first. What is the exponent of 2? We cannot see any number. And that is 1. The exponent of x? 6. The exponent of y? It is 4. Now, try to look at it. They have different bases. So we cannot subtract their exponents. So this is being raised to another power. So what are we going to do? We're just going to multiply their exponents. So you now have there 2, x raised to 6 raised to 3, then y raised to 4 raised to 3. Again, the exponent of 2 here is 1. So you now have, hmm, how did we come up with 8? 2, 1 times 3, that is 3, right? And then x, 6 times 3, that is 18. And then y, 4 times 3, that is 12. What is 2 raised to 3? It means that 2 times 2 times 2. And that is equal to 8, right? That's why we have 8 x raised to 18 over y raised to 12. Okay, this is now the final answer. You might ask, can we simplify 
x raised to 18 over y raised to 4. Uh, raised to 12, I should say. No, because they have different bases. Here is x and here is y. So we cannot simplify it. Therefore, this is now the final answer. Okay? The next one we have here. A over 5b raised to negative 2. Okay, let us identify. What is the exponent of a? 1. What is the exponent of 5? 1. How about b? 1. It is being raised to another power. What is the exponent? It is negative 2. Okay? So in order to simplify this one, we can do this. You're just going to switch. Your a will be here and your pi b will go up. Pi b. Okay? Because of the exponent, which is negative, then your negative 2 will become positive 2. Okay? Going back again, this is 1, this is 1, and that is 1. So you now have this one, okay? 1 times 2, that is 2, okay? So you now have there, the exponent of 5 here is 1. So 1 times 2, that is 5, is squared. And then b 1 times 2, that is 2, over a raised to 2. 5 raised to 2 is equal to 25. That's why our final answer here is 25 b raised to 2 divided by a raised to 2. Okay, any question? You might be confused on this portion. You're just going to switch, okay? Next, we have here, number one, y raised to 3 divided by y raised to 10. Do they have the same base? Yes, they have the same base. So what are you going to do with the exponent? You're just going to subtract it. This is 3 minus 10 is equal to y raised to negative 7. Okay, the exponent of your y is negative. So, we're going to rewrite it as positive exponent. What is the denominator of y? That is 1. So, you now have, you need to write 1 up, and then your y Negative seven raised to negative seven will be down. So you have y raised to seven. That is now the answer in number one. How about in number three? What is the exponent of m here? It is one. How about your n? It is one. But it is being raised by a negative exponent. Based our from our previous example. What did we do in our previous example? We're going to make your negative 3 to positive 3. But then, what are we going to do with your expression? You need to switch. Your n raised to 1 will be moved up. So that is n raised to 1. Your m will be moved down. So m raised to 1. This will only happen if your exponent here is negative. And then after that, let us now multiply the exponents. 1 times 3, that is 3. And then over m, 1 times 3, that is 3. Can we still simplify that? Try to observe. What is the base here? It is m. The base here, it is m. They have different bases. Therefore, this is now the final answer. 
You can only subtract the exponent if they have the same base. Always remember that. Okay. Let us look on number two. Let us rewrite it here. X raised to one third divided by three raised to three. Okay. What is the exponent of x? It is one third. How about three? What is the exponent? It is one. And it is being raised to another exponent, which is three. They do not have the same base, so we cannot subtract the exponent here. Okay? So all we need to do is multiply the exponents. One times three, that is three all over what is the denominator of three here it is one three times one that is three all over three the exponent of three here is one times three that is three so you now have x what is three divided by three that is one all over three raised to three okay can we still simplify this? Yes. Instead of writing x raised to 1, you're just going to write x over 3 raised to 3 means 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3, that is 9, times 3, that is equal to 27. Okay, so the final answer there is x over 27 okay we have here number four we're going to copy number four okay or can we just do it directly there before here okay number four try to observe what is the exponent of three that is one what is the exponent of x 2, the exponent of 5, that is 1, the exponent of y, that is 4. And it is being raised to another exponent, which is negative 4. So going back to our previous example, we're going to make this positive. It will become 4. But how? We're going to switch. Your denominator will be on top. So you now have 5y raised to 4. And you are going to write it below it. 3x raised to 2. Can you follow? We're just following here on number 3. Okay? Again, it's what I have told you. You can do this process number 3 and number 4 if our exponents is negative okay we're going to write now five what is the exponent of five that is one y raised to four over three what is the exponent of three one x raised to two and it is being raised to another power which is four again as what i have told you just multiply the exponents. 1 times 4, that is 4. Then you now have y. The exponent of y is 4. So 4 times 4, that is 16. All over 3. 1 times 4, that is 4. And then x, 2 times 4, that is 8. Okay, let us now finalize. What is 5 raised to 4? Meaning 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5, 25 times 5, 125 times 5, 625. Y raised to 16. All over, what is 3 raised to 4? 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3, that is 9, times 3, 27, times 9, that is 81. 
x raised.